Hello everybody, it's Linda and I'm back to share another design team project for Wilder Good Crafts with you. And this time I have been doing scrapbooking layouts and um, I am not used to doing layouts. So I've been watching like uh, so many wonderful layouts done by so many wonderful ladies and the, the woman who inspired me to start doing layouts was Karen JB Lady Scrapper and I'll link to her channel below. She has done some awesome mixed media layouts lately and I just love them Karen. So thank you so so much for inspiring me. Um, I started out doing a couple of layouts that was just they turned out like totally crap <laughs> so I just understood that I had to you know keep it simple until I I get used to this way of working with things so because of that my background is like no way near as uh, you know elaborate and complicated as Karen's backgrounds are but no matter I was inspired by her, so thanks for that, Karen. And I was also inspired by uh, the layouts uh, that I have collected to my Pinterest. And I will link to that Pinterest, uh, I don't know what it's called, maybe it's a Pinterest album or something, uh, but I'll link to that below so that you can check out the layouts that have been inspiring me. And there you'll also find some of Karen's layouts. And uh, like I said, I'll link to her uh, channel too. Uh, so, as I said, this is a Wild Good Crafts project. So you can see I've been using the Wild Good Crafts flowers. I've been using the tea rose, the uh, open roses in different sizes. And uh, over here is one too. So just uh, let me explain to you how I did my background. First of all, I just chose a light colored paper paper, and this is a 12 by 12 sheet by Tim Holtz. And um, as you can see, there is like nothing to it. <laughs> I just wanted it to, to have a, like a lighter frame around. And then I cut uh, half an inch off a 12 by 12 sheet of craft paper. And I just went around the edge with my Tim Holtz distressing tool and some uh, walnut distress ink both on this paper behind here and the craft paper and i have used some ephemera from cane company and from what's it called oh kaiser craft <laughs> and the kaiser craft package that i got these out of is this here and it's got such great ephemera and it is called the uh, art of life collectibles so i i highly recommend that you know um and this um gear is a prima gear i just uh, inked it and uh, again a tim holtz gear and i used my stencil crafters workshop stencil and i just added these with uh, the mixed media inks from uh donna salazar and it's a color box mixed media ink and you know i i just have to say what what's this with the lid situation has anybody got uh, a nice idea on how to keep the lids on these because this is i don't know i i love the ink but my god storing it hopeless for me anyway so if you've got like any suggestions i'd be happy to know how you store them because you know they they do stack like so but if you stack them then the only thing you will end up is with the 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 lid being attached to the bottom of the other ink pad and i don't know maybe it's just me well so back to this and here is another tim holtz die and uh Oh, I was talking about the background. Sorry, <laughs> I was just distracted by the ink. So I inked here in these spots because I knew I wanted my my sort of centerpiece to be here on this side. And I also inked a little on this side. And I'll show you the entire layout a little bit later. I just will talk you through how I did this. So 
after doing that, then I took my another stencil, um, which has got like different, are they called hexagons? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, you see the shape here and I did this with modeling paste over here and also over here And then I took some Lindy's turquoise uh, glitter or glimmer spray and I just sprayed over around here and here and I used uh, a piece of lace from Trezor's Deluxe here in the same piece I just flipped it so that it's sort of upside down behind the photo here and then i used some lace flowers not sure where i got these but they're from an etsy seller so if you do a search for black lace trim flower trim then this might pop up um this is also a tim holtz die um this is too a die cut and uh, another piece of ephemera and one of Annie's rolled driven roses. Thank you so much, Annie. I really love these. And uh, some smaller lace flowers behind those open roses from Wild Good Crafts. And I have a picture of my son here. So, um, and there's a butterfly and some twine going across here. So now I will show you the whole layout. So this is what the entire layout looks like. And uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I also did another layout. And uh, it's, as you can see, you know, it, the design is quite similar. It's just some of the techniques and the background and, and the image and stuff that is different. So um, again, I used uh, one sheet of 12 by 12 from Tim Holtz in the background here. And that's just, there is a map on this side and it's like a greenish grayish color on this side, which fit the, the colors that I wanted to go for. And this is also a Tim Holtz sheet. And this is just a piece of uh, washi tape. And I used a Graphic 45 stamp. It's from the Couture collection here in the corners and also down. In the bottom corners the the ephemera is still from the same uh kaiser craft package and as you can see there is a film strip it's from the same collection and this trim here is just like a net trim it was black and i just rubbed some gesso on it and i've been just smearing gesso on this paper and really heavily distressing the edges as you can see here using water and curling them and tearing them and you know just roughing them up and here I just used my Prima stencil and I just dabbed on some acrylic paint so this is not modeling paste it's just acrylic paint and when I had put it on to dry it I used my heat gun and then the paint just bubbles up and gives a great texture so I love that and this is a cutout from a Tim Holtz paper you'll probably recognize it if you know his paper pads so the same uh, background lace flowers and also here is the open roses and I have used a tea rose here in cream and there is a bloom a paper flower a flat flower behind here some more of the open roses these are the olive color open roses and th these are from like a mixed package of green open rose this is a large Tuscany rose <laughs> and here again is that stencil and uh, some beautiful lace and this lace is from Tresor's Deluxe I have uh, painted it and sprayed it and inked it to get it sort of like a bluish uh, brownish color to, to fit the layout now here's another butterfly. I popped it up on some chipboard to just to get some dimension. And another one of the rolled roses from uh, Annie. Thank you so much, Annie. So yeah, those are my layouts. And I'll just pick my camera up and try and show you the whole entire layout. This is what it looks like. And bring it back down. So yeah. Okay, so I hope you like my layouts. 
I had tons of fun doing this and I will definitely be doing more layouts and hopefully I'll get better with practice. So thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.